going to be cooking up a turkey breast right now. I got this as part of a turkey part and pieces haul from our local supermarket right after Thanksgiving. My plans for this um, is to cook it, remove the meat, save the meat for pot pies and soup, and then use the bone as part of my crock pot bone broth, uh, turkey bone broth project. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, spray this. This helps so much with cleaning afterwards. I don't like to do dishes. I have to do them by hand. And whatever I can do to make that shorter and easier, I sure as heck am going to do. This turkey breast, how many? It's uh, almost three pounds. Oh, that's a big one. Put it right there. Have to remember to remove this and lay it in. Fits perfectly in my Pyrex dish. And I'm going to take a uh, take the butter and just put butter on top. I use butter for roasting whole chickens. It's, it's simple, it's easy, and it makes for a nice crispy crust. I don't get any fancier than that. Let's just finish that up using my Dollar Tree uh, brush there. And I'm gonna put it in a 350 oven until the meat thermometer comes up at 180. Well, the turkey breast is done. It's a beautiful size, nicely uh, cooked on the outside, and uh, lots of meat. So what I'm going to do is tear off, the, tear off the skin and cut the um, the meat off of this. The meat will be frozen separately for later projects, and then I'm going to put the bone into my crock pot and start uh, my bone broth process. Here's the meat that came off the breast. If you were going to use these for sandwiches or whatever, I guess you could slice them. But since we're going to be using these for soups and casseroles, I just chunked it up and I'm going to freeze it just like that. So uh, that's how you do a breast. <laughs>